guys good morning good good morning to all my subscribers thank you thank you for watching but now we're going to talk about the basic uh, program for your uh, dive AGC4 Mac 2 so first thing you have to do you should uh, install first your uh, applications for your dive you just go from your uh, website and uh, search the dive uh, uh, website there and then you can uh, register it. so they will send you an email for your uh, registrations and then if you are registered already so you can um, install the dive application so you can start to try and do the program so from now we're going to uh, <coughs> um, open the application first so from here open the applications so this is utility software 3 so now I'm going to open so we are waiting to open the applications <coughs> now it is open so we need to connect the USB port to your dive module and then after that so this is now the the, the, the form of your uh, applications so first thing you have to uh, click this one so you are going to go for the service port USB here is your dive comma 4 so now start reading so if you do the program you should go for your uh, service or master so for me I will do the master so so once you open it and read the program so here you can see your generator status your uh, frequency and the voltage status so you can see it here so now <coughs> this is here from your device if you click this one this is what you can see in your screen in your laptop so as you can see here you have the alarms because this one is not yet uh, connected to the uh, generator itself so we are just only uh, doing the program so I will show you applications so the applications we have only one uh, generator this is the engine and your uh, breaker kilowatt keyboard As you can see it here so if you go from the alarms so here is the alarm since we are not yet connected so it is normal that we have an alarm so you can auto acknowledge this one but since there's no connection so it's still there so what i was just showing you here what is in here so here the advanced so nothing you can see it here and 
here in the parameters once you click this one is empty yet so I'll just show you first what is in this side so this is your IO status so meaning you can see here your uh, active uh, status for example the JV off relay so it is active because it is off so you now and the rest is not active because we are not uh, we, we are not even done yet the program so from here the IO set up still uh, ready so we have to wait for that so here you can config your um, what we call the voltage VDC or your uh, analog inputs in here uh, in this IO setup you can config your uh, multi inputs or your uh, analog inputs uh, you can also change this one into uh, digital input if you want so from here the AMI2, MI5, MI8 so here is your configurable uh, analog input so in here you can uh, change this one whatever like the RMI, OL, pressure sensor and you have to check this one as configurable okay so bar sensor so you can uh, uh, select which uh, curve you want so if you have the graph for that for the sensors you are using you can apply it from here so in order to match the graph from here so you have to apply it this graph in order to match your uh, references so so here you can apply the alarms example uh, you have to enable this one for for this one is a uh, high or low so since this one is oil so you can put it low so in five seconds set points you have to uh, add like uh, this one is like a two two bars 2.0 okay so 2 and 10 seconds it should be only like a warning first and the second alarm you have to enable this one uh, basically, uh, just put it warning first and then this one is enabled and then if you want auto acknowledge you can uh, on this so if uh, the problem is solved it will automatically uh, remove from your uh, what we call the, the alarm list so if it is auto acknowledge it will automatic uh, remove the alarms if it is uh, rectified already so inhibit so for example you can uh, apply this one inhibit one inhibit two or voltage not run status so parallel parallel you can select here your actions so this is what we call the actions and then the other module so this is the inhibit so you can apply it from here so, so I will put it only like uh, inhibits so once it is crank it will uh, continuous uh, cranking if there is uh, no problem so and the second alarms we put it in a bowl and then like uh, shutdown is 1.8 uh, according to your uh, set points and then you can put it here like uh, uh, 5 uh, seconds okay so this is 5 seconds
touch it and then port it this do not uh, so block or safety o or safety stop to shut down so here you can put it the actions shut down and then action to if you want to acknowledge or off you can uh, select that one okay so in here you can also uh, use this one as your uh, uh, water temperature or engine temperature or coolant temperatures you have to do it this one as configurable and then you have to activate this one high it's like uh, this is only warning for the first alarm and uh, and put like 95 uh, 95 degree 14 seconds and then warning so auto acknowledge if you want me i always want auto acknowledge and inhibits so second is in a ball and then high so i put it 105 and then from I will put it in five seconds. Okay, so we put it this one as uh, shut down and auto inhibit. So here is the your analog. So in this area, you can apply also whatever uh, you need it for your. Uh, digital inputs you can apply it from here from 27 uh, 23 to 27 so this is uh, configurable as your digital input even in this 45 or 6 in this side all is digital inputs you can config all of this one so from here options you can see victor curve if you can see here so if this is a uh, necessary you can apply it here so the logs so whatever the alarms it will show up here and translations so translations this is the one you can uh, um, what we call uh, change the name of your uh, uh, status for example that one there is the OL so you can change it for example uh, first you have going to read it first you in order to get the uh, file from your module so whatever you're going to change you can uh, I modify it from here so first read it first before you can edit. it okay while retrieving I'll wait for a while okay so now it's over here so this is very uh, more uh, it's so too much guys it's very uh, complicated for you if you do uh, but you have to think and understand if you are doing the program always so you have to know that you are uh, uh, understand what you are doing so if you are editing this one always edit in the uh, language one so you're always editing this one here for example uh, digital input I will see uh, the RMI with uh, find it the RMI uh, and, uh, input so we we'll have to check search it from here right here it's over here so you are this is your OL RMI so this is uh, the, the 5 bar so, so in here you can uh, edit the name so, so this one is like uh, OL
Diamond Low Owen Pressure But here guys you can write only limited words uh, Pressure so, See so you cannot uh, do more so You can do all pressure only So we remove the uh, Low so fresh oil fresh then put it is the so the meaning oil pressure shut down so you can change that one and after that you have to uh, write it okay you have to write in the language device then none put it uh, on language one right so okay so it is writing So we are waiting for the, this one is very little bit tough. It's uh, not the same with the other uh, module. Which is okay. And then, yeah. Then after that, for example, you change already here. So it will appear to your uh, display module. Now after that, uh, I will go from your uh, parameters. <coughs> so then the when you click the parameters you have to read it first <coughs> excuse me and then once it is here now in here you can config your uh, uh, voltage your protections and everything for example where I can get uh, where I can uh, where I can uh, what we call uh, do the configurations for my voltage for my engine so in, in the top here guys in here you can see we have the protections in the protections meaning this is excuse me <coughs> all this is uh, for your protections for your you can see it here you have the P so meaning this is the power one power two you can so you can change it here whatever the units the time the timer excuse me okay so <coughs> this is your p1 p2 and then your <coughs> P3 you can hear everything this is all your protections you can adjust it from here for example you can adjust it here you know the, the key type everything is in here so you have the voltage trip breaker and balance you can all input here and adjust whatever you have, your uh, important things for how many for example this one your kilowatt you can adjust as 110 percent 100 percent and enable this one so here is your uh, enable system and this is your uh, timer okay so this is the unit value percentage by percentage okay so everything here you can adjust your uh, protections from the alternator voltage frequency everything from your breaker under frequency voltage everything from here it is uh, all is here 
so you can see whatever the protections you need it is over here okay so now for example you're done for your uh, protections so let's go from your uh, for your uh, voltage uh, configuration so I will check here uh, <coughs> let's go from the uh, general okay so in general so you can found it here your uh, nominal <coughs> frequency so in here you can edit okay and then enable okay for example you can put it here as uh, 60 hertz so you can adjust it from here 60 okay 60 you can put it like that 60 hertz okay and you want exact 60 hertz and then <coughs> right okay it will be 60 hertz and then it should be enable for that okay so 60 right okay <coughs> okay so now for example uh, you have the nominal for your kilowatts for whatever the kilowatt you have going to change it from here okay in here you have to change this this is only the code for your uh, alarms this side this is the address so for example have the alarm this is will appear there so you can jump directly to your uh, uh, troubleshooting so as you can see here everything is here you can change it so since we are using like 50 so I will just put it back by 650 <coughs> Then after that you have to write it and okay now if you're for example you are done from your configurations then just <coughs> write it over here so now it is right so in here all you can config from your uh, digital input synchronizing so see you have here the parameter for your synchronizing and for your regulations see for your <coughs> adjustment for everything for your hunting and everything you can adjust from here you have the governor output you can see it here there is some certain percentage you can adjust and over here digital inputs you can also apply it from here whatever the inputs you have to use you can uh, apply it from here and analog input so here your <coughs> multi input see you have the value from here and uh, 201 so it's all you can enable also this one whatever you want can in the policy so, see you can select whatever you want from here for your actions and enable so you can enable everything whatever necessary for you <coughs> you have to you can apply it from here okay so let's go from your outputs you can also apply it from here the relief for example for your uh, start starting uh, what, do you, what do you call that one uh, start relay you can also uh, config from here for your uh, units and everything here you can config you can see here. so means if you have your auto means failure you have to config also that one for your your DC things everything is here so you can uh, do the configurations from here but I cannot make it for now because I'll just show you where you can do it so communications in here you can edit your communications for your module if you have like the canvas <coughs> so 
ID key and roof, the R warnings of start, everything is here, the external command, the external ID, speed, in here you can uh, config for that. So everything is here, you can see. So you have the canvas A, so if you have need the communications for that, you can also uh, activate from that. So here is the value that you can apply it from here okay and then power management and here you load start load deep start here you can change and apply whatever you are uh, need, needed okay it's a little bit complicated but you if you are understand this one so you can do the program so you can see here the units the timers and everything you can see it here and apply it so this is what we call the jump so whatever the code for your alarms it shows the codes here so you can quick jumps directly to the uh, <coughs> excuse me to your uh, alarm senses so this is the one here one password whatever so this is your switches and the engines so you can see it here your units and uh, uh, everything so in order to see you have to read it first now external so you can see it here is zero if for example I will read it that one everything here you have to click before you apply you have to read it okay so you can see the values so for example here you see here is the uh, program inside the module so in here you can change it also whatever is necessary for you you can change it from here so where we know so switches jump i external i u the supervision so there is you can see your supervisions but this is the one here and the AC average so if you want to see that one if your module is working you can read it also so you can see directly what is uh, and the it's working or not okay. in here you can see your cold water input everything oh well pretty sure in here you can see and the last time is the flex alarm so it's nothing here so always when you click from the top here so always um, read so you can take the the program internally so you can see what is the list there what you did from the last previous program so you can uh, see it also <coughs> okay so that is all the basic but uh, programs that after uh, after that once you are done already for example so you can directly uh, write this one from here so refer right so right from here so for example you done everything and just write it all so it's now transferring to the module so you say parameter will sent will now be sent to the device do you want to push it and then for that click yes so it will be uh, written <coughs> so after that this uh, right already so you can see it here all whatever you did from your program you can see it here and you can also read it after that okay so now you are already right so you can see whatever uh, you you make the program you have to read it so it's ordered to see 
what is inside what you did okay so in here also guys you can click it for example if you want to start remotely your engine so in here you can start directly if your laptop for example is connected to the module so you can start from here you can put it like mode auto see my auto and manual tests everything you can start stop close the breaker close the main breaker if you have the means and if you have only the generator breaker you can uh, close it from here also so whatever here you can write it and also you can write it from here so if you want uh, for example uh, to change your uh, uh, display so you can just uh, uh, click this one in order to uh, change your views uh, from here you can see the display uh, configurations so you can select the view 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, eight. so there is already the windows here which is for example this is the number 1 so in number 1 you can see it here this is the one who's B line 1 and 0 frequency you can see it here so for example I put it in 2 so it will change also so this is uh, the windows or, or, or the, the uh, display configurations you can see in the module exactly if you are in scro scrolling from here so this is from 1 to uh, 20 so you can also uh, edit from here for example if you want to edit that one allow input you can uh, edit that one and change it from here and then once you're done okay and then rewrite it so you can change everything from here also so once you already finished and then write again to your module okay so for example if you want to uh, save you can click it here for your save select it all so nothing you're going to miss up so now i show you already the all the basic uh, configurations where you can adjust and where you can click so you can now have an idea where you can do it okay that is only the basic configurations I showed to you uh, where you can uh, apply it so now I'm done so just only follow uh, the video what I did so you can you have your references where you can uh, do it okay so once again don't forget to watch and subscribe for my video so and also uh, hit the notification bell so we are always updated to our uh, video for so thank you for watching and see bye bye see you again for my next vlog